So got this HR21 hybrid machine and it has no functions. So if I turn it on, let's remove the cover. Screen comes on. We do have error code. And uh, we have those two error codes. Okay, that's error codes for the canvas communication. Alright, so I think it's a problem with the canvas. So I will try to scan the canvas errors and see if there is any and uh, go from there. But for now, I can see this, this error code means the canvas communication problems. Okay. And uh, I can start the engine. The engine runs, but I have no function. Yeah, engine running, electric motor is running, but they have no functions, so I cannot use any functions. So, I will try to see what's happening with the error codes, or error frames, and uh, we go from there. So i got my ESP32 connected to the machine, and um, I'm still getting error codes on. And if I look to error code, it's going to be the same as previously. So the canvas for uh, canvas errors, okay? So cannot communicating. And um, what I'm gonna do here on my uh, laptop, I'm gonna go received counter. I see the number of errors here, so we know that. The number is going up, so that means uh, we receiving the messages. Um, and uh, left hand side axis is going to be error frame counter, and you can see the counter is just rising up here. Look, steadily going up, and we have 1200 error frames. Okay, so it's consistent. So the, it's, go, it's going to happen because we have a bad connection somewhere for the problem with the ground and because it's so consistent and you can see this red line right here it's just constantly going up okay and the PLC is flashing red as well so it is a problem with the, with the, with the, the CAN data so I'll try to restart the machine start from zero again we have a, like 15,000 errors now okay so let me restart And uh, I will restart the page. Okay, so page restarted. Error frames on the left. So we start, look, how quickly is it going up? It's jumping in the hundreds. And the blue line is receive counter. Spiking up as well. Okay. So the first thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just have a look on the ground fuses because I have on this fuse box here, I have those two bottom fuses is for the ground. Okay, it's 20 amps and 2 amps, and we have a ground fuses on the motor controller and inside the chassis. So I will start with those two, and uh, this one it looks like is gone. Yeah, just by looking at this, I can see this black mark in it, so that fuse has gone. And the 2 amp seems to be gone as well. So let me get the both new fuses and see what's going to happen with the other frames. As you can see now, it's ri rising up steadily, so look, this red line is just steady going up. Okay, so it's consistent. So let me get the fuses in and see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I got uh, 13,000 error frames and it's climbing up slowly. So what I will do, I will replace the 20 amp fuse now. So this is my new 20 amp fuse. 
Okay, that made no difference. Now I'm gonna fit two amp fuse. Okay. It did raised received error counter. You see this blue line here. So the fuse made big difference. So next fuse is by the motor controller. Let's have a look on that. So here by the motor controller we have this fuse and this is very important as well. And uh, let's see if this one is good or bad. Yeah, this one is gone as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this, this is gone. So let's get a new one in there. So look, three ground fuses here. Yeah, 10 amp. Okay, so new fuse here. That's good. Let's see what's happening with the arrow frames now. Look, you see now? So we had this blue line. Okay, received error counter, it spiked up. We're getting a lot of errors, and now look what's happened here. So I replaced the ground fuse yeah, on the motor controller, the blue line gone right down to zero and the uh, red line is flattening out. So it's still the counter is still going up but at a much slower rate and we have a message coming in. So that's making improvements. So another fuse is here inside the chassis right there. So I will open the cover and I will show you. All right, so open the cover right here. So we have inside the chassis, we have a drive valve. And if you look on the left hand side, you have this fuse here. And the next to that fuse, I have this rubbery fuse holder, okay? So I need to open that. And it has a 10 amp fuse in it, yeah? So look, that fuse has gone as well. So, interesting what's happened here. So let's get a new one in. So this is my new Tanam fuse. Um, let's put this in here. Okay, that's in. So new fuse. So look. What do we have now? So we have a message counter going up. Yeah? So we had 183,000 messages scanned and the error counter stopped at 26,500 and the, this line is flat. So no more errors on the canvas, so there's no more problems. So if I'm going to restart machine, I think it's going to be good to go now. So let's just have a look. 10 amp, 10 amp, 20 amp and 2 amp. So I restart the machine now and we're going to see what's happening with the counter. So machine is off, back on, so I've got this back on now, we started the page, error frame counter, errors, see the messages are scanning through, uh, we have no errors at the moment and we have no received error counters. So. And we have no error codes on the screen anymore. So if I push a green button, the motor runs. Let me see if I can operate the function. Yeah, so the function is working fine. No problems. So I have received one error. I mean, one error frame. So one, two is, is not a big deal. It happens at the times. I think the problem is when we're having more than, like it's building up fast, then where is creating the problems? With a few errors, it doesn't make any difference or doesn't make any problems here. Like now, it's, it's a bit fast. I think it's slightly too fast. So what I will try, I will try to go for the ground connections just to make sure everything is okay here.
So I'm going to go for this connections here. Oh, look, here we go, you see? That's broken wire. So I will replace this connector and I think that's going to be end of the grounding problems here. And that should be no more errors. Okay, so let's try that. Just to show you that the wire snapped off and look what's happened here. Immediately going up, you see? Straight away going up on the error frames. And the PLC is gonna go into error state at some point. So I leave this running for now while I'm gonna get my tools and see how long it's gonna take to get to the faulty state and get, receive the error. So we replace the end of the wire, this blue bit. See the orange was fine, but the blue one was corroded or oxidation or on the on the wire itself is all getting black or dark and uh, so let's turn the machine on now and uh, I will restart my the counter page so we start at zeros and, uh, and pull the isolator out and that's out that's on Let's see what's gonna happen now. Okay, so machine is on. Yeah, so we have a counter going off here. And error frame is sitting at a zero for now. So hopefully it's gonna stay like this. Let's run the motor. The function. Yeah, we do have a functions. And we haven't got any error frames at the moment. So is everything sitting at zero here? So it's perfect. Okay, so the problem was for some reason all this fuse is gone and that bit of wire the cream has ha snapped off and didn't have a good connection. So the new cream, new end of the wire and all the fuses replaced and the machine is going to be good to go I think. I will test it a bit more just to make sure everything's fine but for now you can see it's zeros here everywhere. We have a message coming through but uh, error counter is at the zeros. Okay so easy fix as well. Not too complicated. Just always check your ground fuses make sure it's okay and then you normally can fix a problem. You don't need to use any scanners for it but if you have a problem with the canvas then just check on the ground fuses.